let's try to understand how we can create calculated uh, fields in SQL, where in this uh, session, we are just going to see what is the need of the calculated fields and what, what are the different calculations or the functions which we can use uh, to uh, calculate some of the fields or manipulate some data in the SQL. The very first thing is, uh, what is the need? The basic thing is whenever the data is available in SQL tables, it is uh, maybe it is not available in the same format as required by the users or the businesses. That means uh, the source data, which is coming from different, different sources, it may be not in a proper format. Uh, in that case, if, if we need to make the data in a proper format. For that, we need to use these calculated fields. And um, uh, the, the example is, uh, suppose we do have one column, which is uh, having a na name of company and there is another column which is of a location and um, this is a uh, this is these are two are separate uh, stored in separate columns and we wanted to have that combined so uh, like we need to um, mention as company name along with uh, its location so uh, that is one requirement we can have the other requirement is uh, we do have city state and zip uh, uh, data in a different different columns and we just wanted to have it combined uh, in a single column so at that time also we need to combine some data at uh, that time you can use uh, calculated fields where we can have a mixed upper case and lower case uh, so uh, as i said the raw data which is coming from different sources it may be in a proper format uh, so if you wanted to have a, in a specific format like in upper case uh, some data uh, we need to uh, we can do that as well uh, with, with in the sql and then uh, calculating total averages and other uh, calculations also we can uh, do with SQL as for our requirements, some of the mathematical operations where let's say means we have to uh, some order table where we, we do have price and quantity and we wanted to calculate the expanded price, which is a price into quantity for each item. So uh, at that time, we, uh, whenever we wanted to print invoices, uh, we can uh, do that um, calculation of multiplication uh, with the help of uh, this uh, multiplication operator. Uh, there are other operators also we can use plus minus or, or division as well as per our requirements. So these are some of the uh, business requirements where we need uh, calculated fields. And what are the different calculated fields? Uh, so as I said, means whenever we wanted to combine two columns, we can use the concatenator uh, concatenating fields uh, where we use the concat function. Uh, there are some uh, removing space as well. Suppose some data is not coming correctly, then we can use L trim, R trim, left right, uh, left tri uh, trim, right trim, or just a trim function just to remove the uh, both both sides uh, spaces as well. And some of the using analysis, we, we will see how we can uh, give the name to the columns uh, which are we are using as a calculated. Then we will see how we can perform mathematical of calculations, which is a plus minus uh, multiplication or division operator. Uh, so this is uh, we are going to see practically. And so in summary, we have seen what is the need of a calculated fields, why it is needed. And uh, we have seen some of the different calculated uh, fields. And the very first thing which we are going to see is a concatenating fields. How to concatenate field. Uh, in this uh, lesson where we are going to see what is the need of the concatenating fields and some of the examples which will be help us to understand these concepts more better. The very first thing is what is the need of concatenating fields. As we can see that data is not available in the same format as required by the user. So as we can say that name of company and location are the two separate columns, but we wanted to combine them in a single column. So in that case, we can use this uh, concatenating fields. So this is one of the example where we do have these uh, two columns where uh, we wanted to combine as a third column. And if you can see it here, a company name and location, we wanted to display it as you can say with the comma separator as well. So the uh, two values which we can combine. So this looks uh, something which is needed as per business. So this way we can combine. And there is something which is another thing, which is city, state, and zip codes as well, where we can uh, we wanted to combine these uh, three fields or three columns into a single uh, field, uh, which is can be used as a mailing printing address. And uh, so this is where we can have these separate columns. And when uh, we want to, when we use concatenate operator or concatenate function, uh, this this is something which is we can uh, combine these three values. So this way we can combine these uh, concatenating fields. Now let's see how we can concatenate it. The very first thing is something which is, so you can see uh, we do, we can use a select statement where in select statement, we can use this concat function, which is an inbuilt function available at SQL. Uh, now, 
I'm using this SQL server. So I, uh, I do have this concrete function. Maybe if you are using some different like Oracle or MySQL, then they will be having some different uh, op uh, function, but it will be somewhat similar. So we can check the syntax or the functions available with the with that particular uh, software. But uh, here we can say concatenation is something which is we can give and the first city uh, column we can give, then we can give a comma. So this is another, um, uh, as we wanted to separate it with the commas. Uh, then we can give that comma in a single quote. Uh, then again, state uh, uh, the second column, and then again comma and the third. So the three uh, three four operators we can give uh, as many as which we want. We can give in this concrete operator, and the result will uh, something look like uh, this. And there is another uh, thing which we can do in SQL. Uh, we do have this plus operator uh, where we can city and state. If you, they are character field, then we can combine them. And if there is a, a number field, then we cannot combine with this uh, plus operator. But if you say Oracle or some other uh, database vendors, then uh, you can have that uh, uh, vertical bar. Uh, as an operator, we, we can uh, use. So this way, uh, this is another way where we can uh, combine these uh, uh, two columns, uh, city and state, which are character, because I'm not able to combine because this is a number field. Uh, zip column is a number field, and we cannot combine that with the uh, character fields. So that's why I haven't taken this uh, zip, but this is something which is we need to understand that wherever the character fields are there, we can combine them with this uh, plus uh, operator. So in summary, we just understood how we can concatenate the fields and what is the need and uh, some of the examples uh, just to understand this concept more better. And uh, we will see practically now to implement this so that it will be helpful for you. Let's try to see practically how we can use concatenate operator uh, to combine the different columns into a single column. Uh, so we do have this, which is a location uh, table where we are retrieving straight city and zip uh, three columns out of this uh, table. And now what we wanted to do, we wanted to create another uh, field, which is uh, combining these three tables. So how we can use this for in, in SQL server, we do have this function, which is a concat function. And here uh, we can give different uh, columns. Let's say first is a straight. Then we wanted to give a comma as well after that. So uh, that we will give, then we will uh, specify city. And again, a comma we wanted to add. And then we wanted to have uh, zip as well concatenated. So this is something which is we can do. And uh, if you try to do this uh, way, uh, this will combine state, city, and zip. And if you try to run this query now, uh, then it should give this com com column uh, which is uh, combined. You can see state, city, and uh, zip code has been combined into into another column where it is uh, separated by the comma. So this is the way we can combine and uh, this way we can concatenate different columns into a single column. Now there is another way where we can uh, concatenate this operator. Let's say it means we do have state and then there is an operator in SQL server. Uh, some of the other databases will have a vertical bar uh, like this uh, to concatenate. Uh, but here in our case, uh, in SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server, we do have this plus operator which can combine the two string uh, columns. Uh, so if you do have this uh, city, and uh, uh, this way, if you try to do this, then uh, what it, it will do, like, let's say means uh, I wanted to have a column as well here. Uh, if I try to do this, then state and city, we can combine like this the only thing is uh, if the this field is uh, we cannot combine uh, if you try to do this uh, like uh, if i try to do, do this uh, then it will uh, give an error because what happened uh, like uh, this zip code is a number field and it cannot be used uh, used with this uh, state and city columns so this is a drawback of this plus operator where it just refer, uh, like uh, combine only or just concatenate only string characters. So that is we need to understand. And if that is the case, then we can use this concat function, which will uh, concatenate any of these uh, fields, whether it is string or character. So that's not a problem. So this is the way we can uh, concatenate the different columns into a single column. I hope you like this and I will see you in next session.